Hi scientific audience, today I am going to explain you the voltage drop across two resistors that are connected in series with a battery through a demonstration. This is a very important concept for grade 10 students. Here we are going to apply the concept of Ohm's law to understand this particular demonstration. For this demonstration, we would require a battery eliminator, a type of variable DC battery that delivers DC output voltage ranging from 0 volts to 12 volts. It runs on AC power supply. and milliampere meter which is going to record the current red one is the positive terminal whereas the black one is the negative terminal always remember to connect positive terminal of the battery to the positive terminal of the emitter two resistors 20 ohm and 10 ohms that are connected in series with one another A voltmeter which is going to measure the potential difference across both the resistors and its range is from 0 volt to 5 volts. Voltmeter is always connected in parallel with the resistors. The key which can be used as the circuit breaker and few connecting wires. So the DC electric current is going to come out from the positive terminal of the battery to the emitter and then the current will leave the emitter and then it is going to pass through 20 ohm resistor, then 10 ohm resistor, then from the connecting wires to the key and then back into the negative terminal of the battery making the circuit complete. Please note both the resistors are connected in series with one another. Let's switch on the battery and I have set the DC output voltage as 6 volts currently. We can see that 0 0.2 amperes or 200 milliamperes current is coming out of the battery passing through the emitter and flowing through the entire circuit. The positive terminal of the resistor is connected with the positive terminal of the voltmeter. Please note that the positive terminal of the resistor is the end of the resistor from which the current is entering the resistor. The value of the potential difference is 4 volts and the battery is set at 6 volts. The current flowing through the entire circuit is 200 milliamperes or 0.2 ampere. This is the potential difference across 20 ohm resistor.
Now let us connect the voltmeter across our 10 ohm resistor. This is the positive terminal of the resistor as the current is entering from here. So we are supposed to plug it with the positive terminal of the voltmeter and the other end with the negative terminal of the voltmeter. The potential drop across the 10 ohm resistor is to be noted as 2 volts. This is in well agreement with our theory that the EMF voltage is split up as 4 volts and 2 volts and the sum of the 4 volts and 2 volts that is the potential difference across both the resistors turns out to be the EMF of the battery.